The rugged beauty of the dells of the St. Croix River, which straddle the border between Minnesota and Wisconsin, has drawn visitors since the 1860s. But in 1895, when this tourist destination was threatened, Minnesota and Wisconsin were galvanized to establish the first cooperative state parks in the country. We are at Wisconsin Interstate Park in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin's oldest state park. It was established in the year 1900. We are at Interstate State Park in Taylors Falls, Minnesota. This state park has a history that spans back to 1895 when it was first created. A lot had been happening in the River Valley leading up to the establishment of the interstate parks, including uh, beaver and fur trapping and trading, a long logging history, um, excavation of the rock in this area, and already the start of tourism. So citizens uh, thought it would be in their best interests of both communities to preserve the scenic beauty of the Dells of the St. Croix River specifically to protect some basalt cliffs along that riverway that have been here for over a billion years. One of the treats is to explore what was carved into those basalt cliffs many years later, and those are our glacial potholes. We talk a lot about the Ice Age here at Interstate Park. Meltwater from that Lake Superior lobe of ice had formed a lake at the ice margin called Glacial Lake Duluth. Um, that meltwater had nowhere to go, and all that meltwater began crashing down through this valley. This river was moving so quickly that in backwaters or in eddies, the current would begin to swirl, forming whirlpools. And glacial debris that had been picked up by the moving ice of the glacier would get trapped in the swirling water of the whirlpools, and that debris would begin to swirl around and around, um, forming a liquid drill, which would actually begin to drill into the solid basalt below, leaving behind, eventually, some very smooth, um, sided round holes in the rock. These are known as glacial potholes. And those are a real treat. You can walk above them, around them. There's even a pothole that you can walk inside of. When you come here to Interstate Park, you immediately see these stone structures. And you just get that feel of the history of the park. And those big blocky structures and the big log beams um, really kind of feel like you're transporting back in time a little bit. It was the Civilian Conservation Corps and the men of Camp Interstate that developed Interstate Park and made it uh, available to park users. So CCC workers that we had here on the Minnesota Interstate State Park side were coming from the camp based out of the Wisconsin Interstate State Park side. Their charge was to establish the park without harming any of the natural scenery. So they didn't use bobcats and backhoes and large dump trucks and things. They did the work by hand. The stone that was used in all of these buildings is the, the natural basalt rock that we have in this area along the St. Croix River. They uh, learned from some of the Native American um, method of removing this rock. Um, here they would start a fire on the rock. They would keep that fire burning for perhaps 24 or 48 hours. Once that rock was good and hot, they had a bucket brigade of men. They would actually pass buckets of cold water from either our Lake of the Dalles here in the park or from the St. Croix River. They would dash it on the hot rock. It would um, shatter the rock enough so that they could pry it apart using crowbars and other hand tools. They would remove that rock from the path. Then they would bring in crushed trap rock to line the trail. And then in areas where um, erosion might be a problem or safety might be a concern, they would place stone stairs using the same uh, basalt rock. And I'm told that some of these um, stone stairs weighed up to two tons. So a tremendous amount of work um, that we're still enjoying today. The St. Croix River Valley is a very diverse place. So if you're here in the springtime, we have a wonderful show of wildflowers. We have a lot of spring warblers that migrate through at that time of year. If you're here in the fall, the fall color display is absolutely beautiful. The scenery from those basalt cliffs at the north end of the park is just stunning. So it's a beautiful place to take pictures. If you go to the south entrance of our park, we have 37 campsites, so camping is fun here. We also have a large picnic area and about four and a half miles of trails to explore and enjoy.
there is so much to see and do in a very small package here. Interstate Park started out a half an acre in size. It's grown to almost 1,400 acres. People come to Wisconsin Interstate Park and they are surprised by the rocky terrain that we have here by the River Gorge, um, referred to as the Dalles of the St. Croix. There's opportunities for camping. We have about 85 family campsites. There are picnic areas, uh, nine miles of hiking trails. There's a lake, Lake of the Dalles, that provides an opportunity for swimming. There's canoeing opportunities, boating opportunities, fishing on both the St. Croix River and Lake of the Dalles. As far as the wildlife, what you might expect to find here, you will. Um, White-tailed deer, some black bear, uh, coyotes, foxes. As far as birds, we have probably 250 different species of birds that will be here at one time or another, perhaps migrating through along the San Croix River corridor or um, nesting or overwintering here. It's a unique partnership that we have. We're all working towards the same common goal. I'm hoping to invite visitors here and um, educate them about this area and instill in them an appreciation of the very unique area that can be found um, right here in the St. Croix River Valley. Prairie Mosaic is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. The North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.